everyone in this video i will tell you about micro array a major advancement technological a major advancement technological was made in the field of molecular microbiology that is they produce micro array this micro array is also known as dna chip okay now what is this it is the collection of microscopic dna spot attached to a solid surface okay now what is the principle behind this micro array is the core principle behind micro array is hybridization okay now the sample are labeled by using fluorescent dye and this will result in the binding of complementary sequences to each other now wash washing of this with non specific binding sequences sequences we are getting the image and we can analyze the data okay the dna chip or micro array contain a non oligonucleotide sequence or they contain c dna of non function thus a single dna chip or micro array can give the complete picture of whole genome of an organism means this dna chip that contain the non oligonucleotide sequence or the cdna of its non function that will tell the complete picture of whole genome of an organism now how it is work how it is work first of all 
डीएनए मॉलिक्यूल वर कट इनटू फ्रेगमेंट विद द हेल्प ऑफ रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम एंडोन्यूक्लियस रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम नाउ आफ्टर दिस फ्लोरसेंट मार्कर आर अटैच टू डीएनए फ्रेगमेंट वट एवर वी आर कट फ्रॉम हेयर आफ्टर दिस दट डी एन ए फ्रेगमेंट रिएक्ट विद डी एन ए प्रो एंड दिस फ्लोरस एंड मार्क इज अटैच to dna fragment and this dna fragment they are going to react with dna probe after that target dna fragment being identified only when fluorescent emission passing a laser beam okay the target fragment is identified only when the fluorescent emission passing a laser beam as a result patent a pattern that form from the fluorescent emission and identification of dna will be recorded this is a very sensitive and a rapid method to identify dna fragment once again i'll tell you first of all take a dna molecule and cut that dna molecule into the fragments with the help of endonucleus restriction enzyme after that to the fluorescent marker is going to attach with the dna fragment and this fluorescent marker is attached to the dna fragment and the, it react to with the dna probe after that targeted dna fragment is identified when the fluorescent emission is passing a lens a laser beam on it a pattern is formed from the uh, fluorescent emission and identification of for dna will be recorded this is a very sensitive and rapid method to identify the dna fragment now the advantage of micro array the first one is it provide data for thousand of gene okay next advantage of micro array is it we have to do only one experiment to get the information about thousands of gene 
only one experiment instead of many next one is it is a fast and easy method to obtain a good result and the next one is it's very closer to the discovery for disease of uh, it is closer to discovery the cure from or disease and for especially the cancers next one is different part of a dna can be used to study gene expression okay these are the advantage of microarray or dna chip now what are the applications application of microarray or dna chip the first one is discovery of disease or discovery of drug the second one is it is used in agriculture biotechnology to getting the expression pattern of agriculture crop and transgenic plant next one is searching out of defect in regulatory gene to get to know that in which place or where the gene is getting defected next application is for the variation in the cell cycle to get know this it is for cancer in cancer its application is very important to identify target gene of tumor suppressor next one is to identify the biomarkers of cancer and for its discovery of drug also next one is for the deduction of oral precancerous lesion next one is the seventh one in functional genomic the next application of microarray is in antibiotic treatment as increase in number of resistant bacteria and super added infection led to failure of antibiotic okay after that what are the most common type of microarray 
द कॉमन टाइप ऑफ माइक्रो अरे I'll tell you the two that are most commonly used. The first one is cDNA microarray, and the second one is oligo DNA microarray. cDNA microarray. They are the such type of chip. that are prepared by using cdna and this oligo dna microarray synthesizes of oligonucleotide directly on the chip using light directed on solid phase these are the most common type and many other type are also there but these are the most common types that's all for today this is all about microarray thank you for watching my video